Ian, I imagine the authorities are starting to think, you know, how far is this going to go? Could there be other groups linked to this? The, there may be a group of cells, as Sam Carley was suggesting, you know, the idea that the authorities in countries across the Western world have been worried about the idea of a Mumbai-style uh, multiple breakout like this for some time, and they'll be certainly trying to weigh up whether this could be developing into something like that in. Yeah, and, and how coordinated uh, these two separate uh, incidents or these two separate um, uh, uh, parts of the cell, if you like, if it is a cell, uh, have been operating. I mean, I was in uh, Mont Rouge yesterday when we weren't altogether clear whether that uh, killing of the uh, policewoman, the traffic officer, uh, was related to the wider events in, uh, in central Paris. But one of the features that uh, seems unusual about it was that even though the circumstances in which the shooting broke out appeared to have been related to a traffic accident, and this was a, a traffic patrol officer who intervened, uh, the gunman was wearing a, a bulletproof vest. Witnesses said he was wearing a bulletproof vest just like we've had the similar reports this morning, which would indicate that if he was wearing a bulletproof vest, he was expecting some sort of uh, um, incident with the police. He was expecting that he might uh, his life might be in danger and he was prepared to uh, protect himself. So that would have suggested that it was a deliberate move, if you like, to be out in the streets that morning. Whether it was a deliberate and planned attack on that particular policewoman, we don't yet know. But clearly, um, the fact that there has now been a second incident today, again, was that planned? Or is that because the police were closing in because they have been trying to pursue this suspect? And that in itself has provoked uh, more shooting.